Hey everyone, welcome back. So anyways, we part three, the final installment of my little adventure here. If you look down on my right hand side, you're going to see the Columbia River and it's not a body of water that you want to mess with really. I was going to be on the left, my left side of this river, stranded away from the road and a three mile or so walk in either direction along the river in the dark. So that's why I was pretty stoked on getting this paramotor running and trying to get back on the right side of that river. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, guys and girls. So I'm not going to make any shit about this. Um, anyone that's ever flown a trike will know that when you have A assists, and what they are is two lines that go to the A risers, so that you don't have to touch the A risers while you're launching. All you have in your hands are the brakes. Now, when I grab a hold, or when I go to take off, sorry, I can't feel anything so I can't feel my wing left or right I have to rely on being able to see it and right about that point is when you can actually see it as you can see in a hurry and the wing come up crooked so here I'm thinking well oh it's still back there I'm looking at my risers going eh, maybe shouldn't have done this but I thought I got to get out of here so I just brought it right back up again and it came up but it was a little bit gusty down here now I get up on one wheel and I tell you, if this wasn't the sketchiest launch that I've ever had, I guess it has to be a close second, but I'm pretty sure that was like the sketchiest launch that I've ever had on this paramotor trike, and then through the weeds there to boot. <laughs> so anyways, that's what happens when you're trying to get out of a bad situation or what you perceive to be a bad situation anyway. Um, but anyway, so we're booting along here now, and I'm thinking, oh, good, good, come on, run, 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 long enough to get to the slough in the background on the right. So I had to get across that river, and it's not far away, but I'm not high enough, and I know I need to be able to turn and have a spot to land here still, and I think it's pretty quick here that my motor dies again if it hasn't already. Looks like it's still running here. I think it's going to die right shortly, to be honest. There it goes. I or did it. Oh, maybe. It's coming. Or I might think I'm maybe descending. No, I'm still looking toward the river. Nope, down we're coming. So I have no motor again. So thankfully it's a pretty long slew. And yeah, back down we came. And we're going to have to retry it again. And I'm determined I'm going to get the hell out of here one way or the other. Okay, so here we are getting ready. I'm relayed out. I got the oil out of the hole where the spark plug goes. I've got my boot reinstalled. And at this point, I'm not really 100% sure what's going on. I know these things are, these motors are terrible. They have a horrible valve cover on them. The engines are fantastic, but it's an overhead cam engine and the spark plug goes through the valve cover and it's a plastic valve cover. And this goddamn valve cover in the cold shrinks and it the way it's designed heavy on one side light on the other like to the, the structure of the thing the valve cover shrinks at a different rate side per side and it takes that tube that the spark plug boot goes down into and it twists it a little bit and then it leaks oil out and there's a drain hole for water if you get it inside of this thing and the oil pisses out of that but anyways there was another issue was the way my spark plug boot had been installed and it had pressure on it wanting it to pop out to begin with and I just didn't know this and the wire was cold and it was in the shape it wanted to be in that one spot I kept putting it back in that spot and now I'm just basically hoping for the best right so anyways it's kind of a goofy thing and I'm working on a fix for it because I hate a motor that leaves you hanging like this it drives me nuts that's why I bought a four stroke anyways that was a lot better launch this time um, typical it's a better launch for me and because it was a faster launch it afforded me a little bit more time to climb and that the, you know the first launch that I did I was just burning up time with this thing pumping oil out where this time I just banged it off, I got into the air nice and sweet and smooth, and I'm climbing, and now I'm 
across the river. That's the slough in the background where we were. And on the right side there now, left side, you can see where I landed the first time. But now I'm coming back and I'm on the right side of the river. But this is that real thin ice that I was worried about before. You can see how thin it looks back there behind me. So I'm bringing it to the far end of the slough to land as close to thick ice. You can see how it got thicker there. I'm bringing it in and coming straight at the weeds at the end of the slough. And the motor had quit already too, just so you know, I, it wasn't as easy as just flying it in with the motor, it quit. But I'm back and I'm safe and I'm on the right side of the river, but now we're surrounded by CPR property and CP doesn't allow you on their land. So it was a whole big rigmarole, um, getting the manager out there and, and having him escort us across the property to get my trike out. Another weird thing was I just installed these lights on my trike and through the magic of cold, somehow one side of my lights lit up all on their own. I haven't diagnosed that yet, but that's kind of strange. Anyways, do I look like I've had a rough day? <laughs> Anyways, it wasn't long after this and it was dark and I might put a clip of that in there for you guys too, but safe and sound back on thin ice and yeah you're never out of it till you're out of it you gotta keep digging get that thing to fly <laughs> but I guess the moral of the story is that you know just make sure that you have those outs I, I left it I wasn't going to leave it I was gonna fly across that river the very first time and I don't do that that's not how I do things and I didn't and I'm glad I never I could have been not here today if that would have been the case but yeah Glad to be back on the right side of that river. I managed to fly out of the bad area where I was trapped across the river and you know gonna be 10, 10 below tonight anyway. And there's the river's not froze, so it's you know three miles either direction to walk out. Um, anyways, <laughs> I did two launches, kinda nasty ones. It's slippery and it's wind it's gusty, it's kinda weird. Strange air, but got off the ground twice, first time didn't make it across. And it popped the spark plug uh, cap off again. And then the second time I managed to climb just high enough to sneak across the river. But I was worried about this ice when I did that flyby earlier. I wasn't 100% sure it was solid. But it's better than the other slew that I was on. So. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully this isn't a huge problem. I want to get back in the air as soon as I can. So. Well, we'll see where it goes from here. Peace.